Hello everyone and welcome again. So continuing our discussion about the orthopedic trauma basic principles class. And now we are going to talk about the types of fractures. And now we have many types of fractures and that's according to many different factors. And it is important to understand what the terms means. So whenever you hear uh, a term about a type of fracture, you would know what that term means. And this is all will, will be explained in this video. So here we will talk about the types of fractures according to extent of fracture line, according to fracture displacement, according to fracture pattern, relation with external environment, complexity of treatment, and according to the force causing the fracture. So let's start. So let's start with the types of fractures according to the extent of the fracture line. And here we have a com the complete fracture and incomplete fracture. The complete fracture is the, a complete split into two fragments. So the bone splits into two fragments or more. While in the incomplete fracture, uh, the, there is incomplete split of the bone. The osteum remains continuous in part of the bone. And here we have an example for that. So the, in, the, in the complete fracture here, we have a full uh, split of the bone. And we have two fragments of the bone uh, happen. Well, in the incomplete fracture, there is incomplete split and there is part of the bone that's still continuous, which is here. And uh, now the types of fractures according to fracture displacement. And here we have undisplaced fracture and displaced fracture. So undisplaced fracture is when the bone fragments are still aligned and in their normal place. Uh, while the displaced fracture is when the bone fragments are out of alignment and shifted from the original position. And an example we have here. So here we have a complete fracture as from the uh, previous factor. And at the same time, this is undisplaced fracture because uh, the bones are still aligned uh, and in the same plane. While here, there is, uh, the, there is a complete fracture, by this time there is displacement happening between uh, the bone fragments here. So now let's talk about the types of fractures according to the fracture pattern. And we have a lot of different fracture patterns. Uh, for example, we have the linear fractures, we have comminuted, we have segmental, and we have bone loss. So in the linear fractures, uh, as the name implies, we only have one line in the bone uh, that represents the fracture. And this could be a transverse, short oblique, long oblique, which is also known as a spiral. Uh, in comparison with the commuted fracture, commuted fracture has more than two fractural fragments. While in the linear fracture, we always, has, we always have two, fra two fragments. In the commuted fracture, we have more than one line in the fracture, so we have multiple fracture fragments. Uh, in the segmental fracture, on the other hand, the fracture broken to segments, and the segment is longer than the fragment. And in the bone loss, there is part of the bone, or all of the bone, is lost. Uh, so here we have examples, and this page here is for uh, the linear fractures. So as we mentioned before, we have uh, different types of linear fractures. Uh, this one is the transverse one, transverse linear fracture. Here we have the short oblique, and here we have the spiral fracture, which is also the long oblique fracture. Uh, now here we have the comminuted fracture and the segmental fracture. So this one is the comminuted, and this one is segmental. Uh, so, in the community to fracture, we have uh, multiple lines in the fracture. So, this we have uh, here three lines, so one, two, three. And uh, the, the, we have four fragments in this fracture. So, this is the first one, then second, uh, third, and fourth. So, we have multiple lines and multiple fragments in the community fracture. While in the segmental fracture, uh, the segment uh, as we can see here, we have two transverse lines and the segment is the full width of the bone. While in the fragment, the fragment is not the full width. 
it's just a little width of the bone. So that's the difference between the segment and the fragment. And this is here a segmental fracture, and here we have the comminuted fracture. Uh, now let's talk about the types of fractures according to a relation with the external environment. And here we have two types, the closed fractures and the open fractures. The closed fractures are the fractures that are closed in relation to the external environment. So the overlying skin and soft tissue are intact. While in the open fracture, the overlying skin and soft tissue are injured. So the fracture is continuous with the external environment, uh, making bone exposed to external environment. And here we have uh, two types in the open fractures. We have internally opened and we have externally opened. So internally opened, those are sharp fracture bone piece pierces the skin to communicate with the external environment. So the action of soft tissue damage is coming from the sharp fractured bone. So internally opened fracture. In the externally opened fracture, the object from outside causing laceration to skin and soft tissue, causing bone to get exposed. So this time in the externally open, uh, there is uh, the, the object is coming from outside that causes laceration to skin or soft tissue. So types of fractures according to complexity of treatment. And here we have simple fractures and complex fractures. Simple fractures is the fractures in two pieces. Those require reduction and casting, and those are easy to treat. So basically, uh, the fractures that are closed, they are uh, in two pieces and require only reduction and casting. While the complex fractures, those fractures with multiple pieces, commuted and require surgery and harder to treat. Uh, now types of fractures according to the force causing the fracture. And here we have high energy fracture and low energy fracture. The high energy fracture occur due to high impact force, such as severe trauma, road traffic accident, and fall from height. So basically the high energy meaning uh, a high impact force. And this is severe trauma, road traffic accident, and fall from height. While the low energy fractures occur due to low impact force, such as a ground level fall. Uh, finally, if you want to support this work, you can by subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. And if you want to support us more, you can by subscribing to the Patreon link provided in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.